everyone, and welcome to the United Wrestling Network. I'm David Marquez. Now, as you can see, I'm holding the Heritage Championship that was recently held by Kevin Martinson. Now, the reason I say that is because he sent this back to the office. I wanted to put this championship into hiatus, but he refused and said it's not fair. The championship should whoa, go Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ziggy Dave, Dice. Dave, Dave. You know what's not fair, Dave? What's not fair? Life's not fair. But I'm sitting here thinking and just happened to be walking by and I I thought of the perfect man to hold on to the championship in the meantime. What do you mean in the meantime? I mean, this man is is television. This man is a is a is championship material, Dave. I'm so lost. Here, fix that for you. That man is outlandish Zicky Dice. But you already have a championship. Why do, you, why do you need this? This is mine now. What do you mean it's yours? What are you going to do about it, Dave? It says Kevin Martinson right there. Do? It doesn't say Kevin Martinson anymore. It says outlandish Zicky Dice. And there's not a damn thing that you or anyone here can do about it. What do you want to do, Dave? You want to hit me? Hit me, Dave. Hit me, Dave. Hit me. I do what I want around here. Have a problem with it? Come and get it. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 395 pounds, the team of AJ Mana and Fidel Bravo! Still reeling from the history made last week, Zicky Dice becoming the television champion. But I mean, you talk about it, it's been a reunion. I got James Morgan main event here in the booth again. Fidel Bravo in quite some time, but we'll see what he has to offer here with his partner, A.J. Mana. Teaming up with the Samoan shooter, we kick things off with tag team action. And introducing the opponents at a combined weight of 355 pounds, top notch, Lucas Riley and impressed me in recent tag team action. Their debut as a team in the United Wrestling Network. Got a victory over uh, Santana and Koto Hero. And I mean, man, when it comes to tandem offense, these guys put on an absolute clinic. Wait till you get a load of these guys, James. As long as the wrestling isn't crusty, then hey, I'm looking forward to this. Well, with a name like the Krusty Crew, you would think they would hail from, I don't know, maybe Bikini Bottom, but in my estimation, they have the makings to be at the very top of the tag team division. Lucas Riley, Dom Kubrick, taking on Fidel Bravo and AJ Mana. And that's a uh, that's tough opposition in its own right. Again, Fidel Bravo, one of the great veterans of the United Wrestling Network in this program. Dates all way back. Well, that's the thing, the, the veteran status, you know, the many, many hours on the road, the many, many matches, that has to definitely count for something. All right, looks like it's gonna be Lucas Riley and the Samoan shooter. AJ Mana. Mana has been training with the likes of uh, professional MMA fighter Jake the Barbabian Babian. Uh, under the tutelage of the likes of Antonio McKee and AJ McKee of, of uh, Bellator fame. So this guy's got a lot of weapons in his arsenal. He can, he can take you apart. And there you see a change in levels. Nicely done and a big takedown. That was, that's, I mean, just looking at him, he's a specimen of a man, but definitely be able to see him get down on the mat like that and we'll see what else can happen tonight and mana has been impressive in the united wrestling network for quite some time now you know had a had a really uh, impressive performance at the red carpet rumble years ago the one that uh golden boy jordan clearwater ended up winning but you can see mana the samoan shooter taking a body part here and really slowing down the pace of the Krusty Crew, which really takes them out of their game plan, James. Really, and that's, if when it comes down to it, he, he's being smart about it, because he already, he definitely has done his homework. Wow, nice transition with the key lock, though, in his own right. There is uh, Lucas Riley, but now you got that body lock, and I'll tell you, Mana would rather throw you than know you. 
Is he going to go for the cover? No, looking to transition to try and take the back. Maybe rear naked choke time. Who knows? There's definitely the MMA training coming into light here. It sure is, but look at this out the back door. Oh, man, pulling that ripcord and taking Mana down. That tied to turn real quick. Now he's picking a... <laughs> he's picking a part of body part there, and I think really what he needs to do is he needs to tag out because that, he's got taken quite a beating so far from AJ Mana. Yeah, I don't... You, if, if you're... Lucas Riley or Dom Kubrick. You don't want this fight to be in the phone booth with AJ Mana. This is what you got to do. You got to stick and move. Nice double team into the drop kick by Kubrick, who checks in. And they make the tag. They stay fresh. Thus far, the Samoan shooter has been isolated for his team. We haven't seen Fidel Bravo check in yet. You definitely don't want Fidel Bravo to be checking in at all. That's a crusty crew here. Really goes it down. Into the cover, and Fidel Bravo. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen him. Saw him instrumental uh, at one point in the uh, Golden Opportunity Tournament. Qualifying action, and uh, look out here, though. Again, look at that. Ut utilizing wherever the head goes, the body goes. And in that case, it was down. <laughs> this, my goodness. Incredible maneuver. <laughs> Wheelbarrow action there, and the elbow drop They're all over the place. They're being, they're definitely being smart about this. Tag in, tag out, tag in, tag out as much as they can. They really are tag team specialists. But Fidel right. Bravo has other news here. And Just about took his head off with that clothesline. That allows the Samoan shooter to catch with the big shot. AJ Mana in control, looking for the cover. And we'll be back with more tag team action right after this. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Welcome back, everybody. Tag team action. And now, finally, we see some continuity here. Although, you did see Fidel Bravo get involved on the outside earlier, and that really changed the tide of this matchup. It sure did. And now, right now, that this is the first time Fidel Bravo is legal in this match. Bravo, no stranger in his time in the United Wrestling Network to running with a pack. We think back to his time in La Revolution. Here's the uh, cover. And, uh, and, and Bravo is fresh in there, and he is, you know, a wily veteran. And he will know the tactics to slow down this explosive team. And that's exactly, because Fidel Bravo, in his own right, can be explosive and fast. But really, he needs, needs to uh, turn the tide here and, and keep these uh, Crusty Crew guys uh, down the deck. Making him eat defeat there, so to speak, was Lucas looking for the tag. So close and yet so far, James. Well, hey, you tagged him in, so let's go. Well, they're getting a couple shots in there first. And the Samoan shooter 
has been very physical and has been dominant. He's able to use that size and strength advantage thus far. Look at that swinging, clubbing forearm that Thunderlips would be proud of. Into the cover, only a count of two. As if to say, no, no, not yet for the meatball. <laughs> well done. Tag is made here, and I tell you, for my money, this is the first time teaming of Fidel Bravo and AJ Mana, but they are functioning well as a team thus far. Nice snap suplex there by Fidel. Uh-oh, maybe taking a little too much time though, James. Yeah, that's, it goes back to the, uh, Fidel Bravo, but you know, Fidel Bravo, he knows what he's doing for his, for, for his approach, but definitely these two have definitely been a great uh, tag team, like, almost as if they've really been tagging for a long time. Well, the jawbreaker and now hanging Mon out to try the leapfrog. Tag is made. And here comes Lucas back in there. Bad. Digging way down deep with that European uppercut here. Pace quickens, and I think that favors the crew. Man, look at this guy go, That's James. That's incredible. Oh. That's incredible. But what he needs to do is he needs to focus back on Fidel Bravo. Serious style points by Lucas Riley. Man, incredible balance. Look at this wheelbarrow, takes him up and over into the double stomp. Might cough up his uh, crusty patty after that, and another close call. Well, he's, they're definitely serving up the crusty patty tonight. <laughs> that takedown into the double stomp just had him pinned to the dissection pan there, right in the middle of the ring, and not where you want to be with the crew where they can double team. But AJ Mana was wise to it, nullifies it. Mana wants to turn this into a brawl, James. I think that's what he does best. Got hung out to dry, though. Look at this. Sliding in. Oh, my goodness. Look at these two go into the German suplex beautifully done and they take the Samoan shooter all the way to the outside oh look at it look at Fidel Bravo there is some fireworks in this that one sure is. they turned their back on Fidel Bravo and Muy, he's capital up well Muy caliente. oh man watch out here there it is that monkey flip into the power bomb and that's gonna do it the Dutchman's curse here are your winners Crew. Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by Buckets of Rent. You need an attachment for your backhoe or any of your heavy equipment. Give them a call at Buckets of Rent. Their equipment will really help you get the job done. And tell you about getting the job done, that Dutchman's Curse, that assisted powerbomb, scores another victory for the group. Very impressive win over Fidel Bravo and AJ Mono. Can't wait to see more from the Crusty Crew. And we'll see more when we return to in-ring action coming up in the United Wrestling Network. No, for real though, man. I, that was a good one, bro. Yeah, man, I appreciate you, man. You you pushed me like I haven't been pushed in so long. I needed that match, bro. You reinvigorated something again and, <laughs> inside of PPA. <laughs> man, I'm a thesaurus sometimes. I hear that. It was good, man. Like, honestly, like, you brought the fight out of me for a long time, yeah. I looked up to you. You know, you was the guy when I walked into this building. Thank you were the guy that was carrying the Heritage Championship Thank on your back, you. the company on your back. You that guy. You back now. You looking good. Trying my best, man. I was that close, bro. Dude, that close. You was. You was that close. You know, yeah. not close enough, but you was that yeah, close. Yeah, you know. I mean, you're Danny Lime, my bro. You know what I mean? You hey. are the champion for a reason. You are doing the damn thing all over the world. Thank you. It's Pete. impressive, bro. It really Pete. is impressive. I so. appreciate that, but I respect you because that match really taught me a lot in that ring. Thank you, bro. I always tell people when I look at the Mount Rushmore of United Wrestling, your face is right there next to Adam Pierce. I like that. Um, Standard, baby. I also like what you're doing with these little day one open challenges. Oh, yeah. That kid, Matt Vandergriff, man, he brought yeah. something out of you last Vandergriff week, too, man. Vandergriff is something else. He's incredible. Incredible yeah. guy, yeah. He really, really is, man. Yeah, man. Who? Day one open challenge. These new guys coming in and getting chances. I'm a, I'm a new guy. I'm Jordan Oasis. Where's my title shot? Where's my <laughs> open challenge? Uh, this guy for real? I, I, I guess, hey man, it took me 15 years to get a shot at that title. Nice try, kid. All right, Pete, I'll catch up with you. Maybe one day I'll answer that open challenge. Yeah, you know? one day. And you got a contract in your backpack that says you can just come over here and ask for championships or what? Haven't you been the champion for over 400 days? Yeah. 
You watch the show? That's, that's over a year. It is. And, uh, so what you saying? You're a fighting champion? But <laughs> it's my first match and you want to defend it against me? What kind of champion is that? Listen, Big Bad Wolf, I know you're trying to blow the house down with the hands of your chin, 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 but um, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen like that. We don't just give our championship shots out here in United Wrestling. Oh, so you're a poser. You're a fake champion. Got fake. it. No, you know what, bro? How about this? How about you meet me in the main event tonight, and I'll put the United Wrestling number bro oh, championship on the line. Oh, hold on a second. Who really whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. Let's do it. No, no. That sets an insane precedent. All right, you already have Tito and Slice breathing down your neck. I can't just, no offense to you, welcome to the United Wrestling Network. I cannot give Jordan Oasis a title shot his first day here. That cannot happen, but- and He's talking like he's ready. I understand that, and he might be, but here's the idea. Main event, Danny Limelight, Jordan Oasis, non-title match. If you defeat Limelight, you're guaranteed an opportunity down the road. All right, I gotta go. I'm getting sick and tired of Joey butting in. I'll see you later, dog. Yeah, you will. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Yeah, can you believe this rookie? He tried to get a title shot. First match here. No, 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 no. I absolutely not. Yeah, right? Hey, hey, bro, hold on. Let me let me call you back. What's up, Papa? Hey, yo, Pete. You seen Slice Boogie? Slice? This guy? No, I've not seen Slice Boogie. I mean, not since this dude tried to jump in line and get a title shot before me. What's that goof's problem anyways, man? Can you believe that? I don't think so, man. Hey, hold on. Watch your tone when you talk about Slice. He might be causing a lot of problems, but he's still my brother. All right, I'm sorry. And I still need to talk to him. Let me know if you see him. All right, no problem. Introducing his opponent from Agrigento, Sicily, weighing at 235 pounds, Vinny Massaro! Hey, forget about it, it's nice guy Vinny making his way to Derby City. Todd Kennelly, James Kincaid here with the call of the action. And Vinny Massaro, a battle-tested veteran, and the master of the snoring elbow. Well, James Kincaid is definitely on assignment. This is James Main Event Morgan. Here, ready to ex <laughs> hey. Old habits die hard. But you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, this uh, Vinny Massaro, uh, I don't know what this guy's gonna be able to bring because I think he might be part of the family. Yeah, maybe, you know? Maybe so, but he's <laughs> he's in there with Jake Painter out of Chicago. So yeah, there, I mean he can, he can have all kinds of ties in this thing. Eyes on this one. Full head of steam by the veteran. Nothing flashy or fancy for nice guy Vinny, but very effective. And he knows every trick of the trade does the veteran, but pace quickens and that might favor Painter. Backslide, tried and true. And Painter figures himself as a back-breaking artist. I'd put some aerial maneuvers into that. It's well, they're nice, nice impact on the back as he wrenches into the neck and the uh, shoulder. Jack Painter, I mean, put together, looks like a great athlete, and uh, is going to want to probably keep the pace high here. And you really don't want to get in a in a phone booth fight here 
with Nice Guy Vinny because he loves the roughneck tactic. But man, look at the speed and agility advantage there by Painter with that arm drag. I think you're right, Todd Kenley. He just needs to keep that momentum up because I think Nice Guy Vinny uh, he, he's not uh, really expecting this. But if you, you know, if you're painter, I think you want to fly around. You don't want to be within range of that snoring elbow because if you do, let me tell you, you're going to be sleeping with the fishes. Then he sends him in up and over. Goes painter. <laughs> How wow. about that shot? <laughs> Given. Uh, Jack Painter a little uh, dose of his own medicine. Yeah. Some agility there by Vinny Massaro. Elevates with that big kick. Little pasta power. Let's give it a little bit of oregano here. And then just, I think, <laughs> followed by a couple punches. Then lights out for Jake Painter. A scoop and a slam. And here's where Vinny will start to punish you. And again, he doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. Getting some momentum going. And there you go. Drops the elbow after a little sign language. Yeah. What was he saying, Todd Kendall? No, I don't know if we can uh, repeat that into the cover. Maybe he was uh, giving us his order from his most the favorite Italian restaurant. There you go. I'll tell you, he is. Uh, Flattening him out like a veal parmesan right now is nice guy Vinny. Full head, two hands full of hair. He had a lot of uh, spaghetti noodles there. <laughs> he takes down Jake Painter. And Painter had a great start, but the methodical pace of Vinny Massaro and the, the veteran wherewithal has turned this thing around. Yeah, nice guy Vinny knows exactly what he's doing. He's been around long enough to see so many different athletes that he knows that uh, Jake Painter, he's got his number. I love that. Gave, Masaru gave him a little something extra there, but look at that. Oh, oh wow. Back, back breaking artist indeed. And Painter looking to paint a masterpiece, and he'll do that if he gets a win over Vinny Masaru. Masaru has been such a fixture in the Northern California area, and now all the way out to Derby City. And look at Painter go here. Succession of clotheslines. He had a little something left in that gas tank. Uh, he's <laughs> wake up, Jack Painter. He's not sluggish. He hasn't been carbo loading on the pasta. He's got the high octane going. Oh my goodness! Look at the strength into that suplex. Nice We're guy, Vinny. He's a big guy. He's going for the cover. Painter almost put him away. A flurry of offense. And you got to think, is this thing, if it goes into deep water, conditioning becomes a factor, and that's going to favor Painter. What is he going to try to do here? Well, that butterfly lock, that's won a lot of matches in the history of this great sport. Swing and a miss, though. Look out. You want to watch out for that snoring elbow. Painter charges in. Masaro wise to it. Who's going to get the better of this scramble? Painter going up top. He's perched here, James. Nice guy, Vinny. No, <laughs> nice duck. What is he going here? Oh, my! Oh. Wow, that's, uh, that has to be it. Here is your winner, Vinny Massaro. That's all he needed was that range. Massaro connects with the snoring elbow, and it's night-night time for Painter. You can paint some lovely little trees, oh, but I'll tell you what, you can paint another mark in the wind column for Nice Guy Vinny. More coming up at Derby City. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through CarShield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out-of-warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through CarShield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. 
They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Jim was, of course, part of Final Destination with main event Evan Daniels and R3. These guys caused a lot of damage. But in there with Damian Desire, a very flashy competitor who can, uh, can get anybody out of their game plan. You wonder, is this a mind game? But really, he must be that desirable because he has a lot to offer in this match. But don't let... Don't let the antics fool you, the bright colors. This guy has got the credentials. He's a great wrestler. You're seeing it here with the arm ringing, ringer is Damian Desire. And now a oh, little uh, little kiss there. Yeah, Chivalry is not dead, is James. It's not Todd Kelly. James Morgan, yes. <laughs> Side headlock now by Bryce Saturn. And recently, R3 stepped away from active in-ring competition. You've got main event, Evan Daniels has kind of gone his own way. So now we'll see what Bryce Saturn can do when he goes it alone. Well, right now, he, he needed to work things out a little bit. He's uh, got the squeeze on him right now, does Damian Desire. See if we get a clean break here in the corner. Nope. Four, full court press there by Bryce Saturn. And nice deep Man. arm drag there. And that's been one of the great weapons to turn the tide in the match all the way back since the likes of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Man, how impressive was he with that back in the day? Incredible, incredible. But it, it definitely, you can tell that Bryce Saturn has done his work. Sure has. Great athlete. And uh, Final Destination, man. They were a faction that was really something to deal with. But Saturn now trying to... Uh, do it on his own, and look at the agility here by Damian Desire. Beautiful, delayed cross body there. You didn't have the slow motion button or the pause button. He had some serious air time that there, was, James. I'm <laughs> thinking, where are the strings? He was just hanging in the, from the sky. He's got him hooked here. Does Desire out the back door. Goes Bryce Saturn. And I tell you, Saturn's got that, that compact body type here. He's got a uh, little low center of gravity, but he, he packs a punch. He packs a lot of power in that frame. Definitely impactful. Impactful indeed with that basement drop kick into the cover goes Saturn. I think He's, Damien desires his dentist at this point. <laughs> yeah, he might. You think his, he'd get pink fillings? I would hope so. And now look at this, winding him up, looking to go high impact. Was looking for a reverse neck breaker, but power slam the other way by Damian Desire. Here's the cover. Like I said before, you can't judge a book by its cover when it comes to Desire. Great competitor. Fun loving, but he finds himself in there in a, in a tough battle here. This is turned physical in a hurry. Wow. That's 
definitely not what I was expecting. But yeah, you're, you're right. Damien Desire, great competitor. He's really impressing me today. Like what he did there. That was a lot of torque on that on that European uppercut to the lower lumbar region. Imagine if he did that to the external occipital protuberance. Could turn your lights out in a hurry there, James. You're right. What a suplex. Here's the you're cover. A, you're a well-educated man, Todd Kenley. Well, I can thank Gorilla Monsoon for that. And Damien Desire, though, desires victory here. And one step closer after that big suplex, making Saturn pay the price. And the difference here now is Saturn can't go to the corner. He doesn't have main event Daniels. He doesn't have R3 with a hand outstretched. And you wonder, like, uh, to what degree does that impact his ability as a single competitor? Going to the corner, nobody's there. Yeah, that's a great question, you know. And in the history of this great sport, you know, is it a tough transition from when you're, when you're running in a pack or you're a tag team competitor and you make the, the switch to singles? It's going to be a bit of a learning curve. Man, I'll tell you, though, really deadly with the elbows from a number of angles, from a number of different varieties, is Damien Desire. And as you see, there's no elbow pad on that. That is straight bone to bone. Yep. Big kick. Going, going, gone. Looking for the 50-yard field goal there. And it's a shot you don't see coming there, James, that, you know, can really hurt you. And, uh, but that one seemed to fire up Saturn more than anything else. I, I think he just woke up the, uh, the alien of outer space here, Bryce Saturn. Saturn turning this thing, transitioning to strikes, making it physical yet again. Round and round they go where they stop. Only Desire knows. Big drop kick the other way. Great competition here at Derby City. Here's the cover. Close call. Count of two. Good competition here. Back and forth. Seesaw action, James. They really produce outstanding talent here at Derby City Wrestling. It's an honor to be able to be in front of this uh, crowd, to be able to call this match from Derby City Wrestling. These two great competitors definitely back and forth. My money, who knows? Desperation jawbreaker, but really elevated. All that body weight came down. And you talked about needing a dentist. He might need to make a number of appointments. Yeah, he won't be eating solid food. He might not be crown victor here is desire he might need a crown or two here we go man big forearm cannon job there by bryce saturn following up again oh using all that momentum 12 to 6 on the clock he's feeling it here james oh he's definitely getting the momentum Bryce Saturn showing a lot of fire, measuring Divine. Oh, here's maybe a little statement. Oh, hits him with the fatality. That's right out of the R3 playbook. Here's the cover. Here is your winner, Bryce Saturn. A little homage to R3, and much like R3 gets the victory. More action coming up at Derby City Wrestling. All right, Papa, you ready? You good? Yeah, I'm all right, man. Good. That's all you need to be. Ready and good, all right? I got my eyes out for Tito. I got my eyes out for Slice. You ain't got to worry about nothing but doing what we do best, and that's robbing that house, you dig? You sure I ain't got nothing to worry about? You ain't got nothing to worry about, Papa. I promise. Hey, I got you! How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. 
Exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call CarShield now. Call 800-461-2347. Welcome everyone, I'm Jack Farmer and this is the United Wrestling News Desk. I want to take you back a couple of weeks ago where we witnessed quite the scene when Mikey O'Shea came out during Evan Daniels match with EJ Sparks. Now, for those unaware, these two have been going at it as of late with Daniels crushing his can over Mikey's head in their first match and now Mikey spitting Daniel's fancy drink in his face to cost him the match with EJ Sparks. Wondering just how far this would go, we decided to catch up with Evan Daniels, who had these very choice words. Mikey, oh boy. You see, at first, when I met you, I wanted absolutely nothing to do with you. But now, both of these eyes are laser focused on you. See, you want to spit on my beautiful face? Now, I'm going to have to put you in your place. <laughs> it certainly appears we haven't seen the end of it between O'Shea and Daniels. Hopefully, that gets sorted before things get more out of hand. Speaking of hands, last week we saw Flex McCallion pull another fast one on Guy Cool by yet again using what clearly seems to be an illegally loaded glove. Guy Cool's problems were Jason Level's gain, however, as Levels was able to get his first ever victory in the United Wrestling Network by pinning an unconscious Guy Cool. We reached out to Flex about what he's been up to, and he had this to say. I know you've seen me racking up the W's. I'm having a lot of fun introducing everyone to the tenderizer. You see, I'm gonna leave one word branded in everyone's brains, and that is BEEF! Flex McCallion, energetic as always, and looks to be even more energized by the success that glove has given him. But hey, you can't talk about success without talking about our new world television champion, the outlandish one, Zicky Dice. Fans seem happily surprised by both Zicky's huge victory and the manner in which he did it. Fair and square. It makes you wonder after what we've seen transpire these past few weeks and what we saw earlier in this program, have we really seen a new side of Zicky Dice? Well, let's hear it from the man himself. Would you look at that? You love to see it. Looks like things are really starting to shape up for good all. How land a sticky dice? It's funny. What happens when you take control of your own destiny? Do I have your attention yet? Are you down with OZD? Outlandish. I'd say Zicky Dice not only has my attention, but the attention of the entire United Wrestling Network. That does it for us this week at the United Wrestling News Desk. I'm Jack Farmer. And now, let's head to the ring for our main event. The following contest is a non-title singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 242 pounds, the Global Nomad, Jordan Oasis. Jordan Oasis making his United Wrestling Network debut and looking to do it in grand fashion as he takes on the reigning world champion in Danny Limelight. The title not up for grabs. However, if Oasis gets the victory, he will earn a shot. What a spot to be in, especially on his very first match here at United Wrestling Network. What's he have in that bag? Well, he won't be taking home the title in it, but could get a big step closer in this huge main event. Come on! And introducing his opponent from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the United World Champion, the radioactive puppy, Danny Limelight! Danny Limelight has held that title for 
over 400 days, has defended it all over the globe, not putting it on the line this time, but has a chance to take a potential world title challenger and knock him down a few runs to the ladder if he can dispose of Jordan Oasis here in Oasis's debut. I think Danny Limelight being a world champion, a true world champion, has no doubt in his mind that he's gonna definitely take him to town. We recently saw Danny Limelight get the victory over the day one player. PPA, Peter Avalon, what a title matchup that was. But this is a whole different style of competitor. You look at Oasis. Now he was, he first cut his teeth in this sport in the art of Lucha Libre, but he's a big, powerful, sizable opponent here. So a different style that Danny's gonna have to deal with and might help set him up to take on the likes of bad dude Tito and his own uh, stable mate in Slice Boogie. Definitely the odds have been against uh, Danny Limelight for sure, but he is definitely one of the most dominant competitors, fighting champions that I've ever seen. Incredible defenses against the likes of the Mad King, Eddie Kingston out in Arizona. Look, oh man, like he had eyes in the back of the head, the champion there. Takes Oasis out to the outside. Defenses against the likes of, uh, you know, a competitive rival, Clark Connors. Former champion, Jordan Clearwater Moore. Oh man, this is trouble here. <laughs> this is trouble. Oh no. Oh, oh no, the champion hits the barricade. We got to take a break. And the champion just got broken in half. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Welcome back, everyone. The United World Champion, Danny Limelight, just now starts to stir. And I'll tell you, the count is on. And if Oasis wins by count out, he'll earn a title shot. He can just sit back. I don't think, I don't think that the radioactive poppy can get back in the ring. I mean, that was devastating stuff, James. Devastating. You can tell his shoulder, his ribs, his back. He barely made it into the ring after the, before the 10 count. Unbelievable. That power bomb from the apron to the outside to the barricade, it looked like, it looked like an absolute car wreck. I thought he was broken in half. You gotta credit the heart, the tenacity of the champion to get back in there. But what is left at this point? And with big title defenses coming up, I mean, he's got a date with Destiny with the likes of Bad Dude Tito, Slice Boogie. Is this wise to even get back in there after after taking a shot like that? That's a really good point, Todd Kenley, because at the end of the day, no matter what, he still walks out as the champion, but at what cost? And now into the cover, Oasis with a huge opportunity. This main event matchup has been anything but an Oasis for the champion. It's a, that's a mirage. He finds himself in the middle of a desert, and he's in serious heat. 
He's looking for the water. He's looking for ice. He's looking for band-aids. He needs to be able to put those bones back together because definitely something has shifted after that power bomb to the outside. His entire body got rattled. And man, how aggressive is Jordan Oasis in his United debut? Look out here, that big cannonball. Calls that the heat seeker. He's bringing the heat, serious heat to the champion. Here's the cover, almost put him away. I've never seen something like that before. And I, and I would have to say that neither has Danny Limelight. And let's talk about the training of this guy, okay? Jordan Oasis, he, you know, he competed in Mexico. He, he, you know, trained under Buddy Wayne. He trained under Hall of Famer Rikishi for a while. He's got martial artists with a, a jiu-jitsu and taekwondo background. This guy is like one big, oh, he's looking for the Haddonfield hook. But able to avoid it there was the champion. Full hit is still, oh! Standish, standing Spanish fly, James. Incredible, my God. Where the hell did that come from? I'll tell you one thing about Danny Limelight. He's got double O, and that is Oro and Orgullo, gold and pride. And we're seeing why he's been such a great champion, and he's showing that pride here. I didn't realize how cultured you were, Todd Kenley, but look at him, Danny Limelight. Incredible after everything that he just endured. Why, well, you know. The late, great Gorilla Monsoon often said it, adrenaline can do wonders. But you can see here that that body is riddled with pain. I mean, his entire body just shuddered when he hit that barricade to the outside, but he's finding a way to dig down deep. That's what's made him such a great. He's been the flag bearer of the United Wrestling Network now for over a year. Look out! Oasis to the outside. Scene of the crime of where Danny Limelight was once Power bombed. Uh oh. Air puppy connects. And now it's Oasis that tastes the steel on the outside. Again and again, Danny Limelight, he's had enough. What a matchup. A matchup we did that we had no idea we were gonna encounter here when we uh, kicked off this program. Danny Limelight perched. Wow, what a frog splash! Here's the cover! And don't go! I thought it was over, Todd Kenley. Limelight's taken on a lot of the greats. At one point, took on none other than Chavo Guerrero, and there we saw a big frog splash fitting to the Guerrero wrestling family. But Oasis continues to fight on here. This guy is tough. This is what makes United Wrestling Network so great, is that you'd never know who's gonna walk through those curtains and here today with Jordan Oasis, I'd be apt to say he might be a contender. Well, man, look out here. Oh, big backbreaker again. He's looking, oh, he's looking for that combo breaker into the Falcon Arrow, hits it, the backbreaker, step one. Falcon Arrow, cover, here we go. Almost earned a date with Destiny and a proper title shot at Limelight, but no sir, not yet. Todd Kenley, I think if he was able to hook the leg, which he was desperately trying to, I think that he may have pulled off an upset win. So many weapons in the arsenal of Jordan Oasis. We saw the heat seeker, that cannonball earlier, now the combo breaker, and he is decimating physically the world champion. I mean, can you think of a more impressive way to make your debut? Uh-oh. Oh, I think he just uh, he made a big mistake. Poppy isn't gonna like that. You don't step into Limelight's house and disrespect him. And we got ourselves a war here in our main event. Man, what a shot. Oh, Oasis is stumbling. Get your cameras ready. He might be going down. Uh-oh, Todd is back. <laughs> Normally, he'd hit that no problem. Yeah, I was looking for the symbiote DDT, but the power, a factor again by Oasis standing switch. Oh, my! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> what a lariat! Big shot by Big Poppy. Like a home run slugger there. And Limelight, the champ, gets him up. Uh-oh. Going for a ride, a little airplane spin. Oh, and he is in pain, but look at him. Oh, oh man, my. how close was that? 
after that airplane spin. Took him on a one, it was a one-way trip straight to the canvas. But the layover, not for three seconds. Missed it by that much. And Danny Limelight, he felt it. He felt it, he's feeling it in his back, he's feeling it in his lungs, he's feeling it in his ribs. You know who's loving this? Who's that talking about? Oasis if he gets the win, but also Bad Dude Tito. Very good point. Slice Boogie, other guys that have the target on Danny Limelight, because what's gonna be left of Limelight? This match that isn't even for the world title is taking a whole lot out of the champion. Trying to take the oxygen out of uh, Jordan Oasis. But we saw earlier, you know, the champ went for that symbiote DDT, couldn't do it. And Limelight is still in a lot of, oh my goodness, wow. High elevation and in a heap again, here's the cover. How close has Oasis come time and time again? I'll tell you, man, Limelight is gonna have trouble getting out of bed in the morning. Let low breathing right now. His body is getting ravaged, getting destroyed. The crowd's trying to get uh, the champion back into it. Need any help that he can get. He's looking for that Hatfield hook again. Out the, oh, looking for the oh, hey! Here it is. It's in. It's in deep. Maurice Sonyando. Maurice Sonyando. Wait, who is this? Todd Kenley. What in the world is he doing here? And now, what well, what Pop up cutter to Oasis. I Former. And I repeat, former television champion Jack Banning coming in here and ruining what was the makings of a modern day classic, James. This guy is, th this guy is out of his mind. We heard in that, in, you know, when he ran into Limelight, he said, I held my title for over a year too. Now he lost that television title. He's got his eyes on another one, that guillotine in, and here comes Papoesco for the save. Look at Jack Banning, just that look on his face. He's like the maniacal laugh. Well, he loves to play the mind games, but man, this was physical as well. Papo Esco coming out here, and, and Danny Limelight. There's some fire. There has been some serious dissension in the ranks. You know, we saw when these two were talking earlier, Papo said, no, it's not cool. It's not all cool. Let's go! Danny Limelight, now I think, just realizes what's going on. I th and now Banning, look at this, slink into the back. I'll tell you what, I think Limelight, I think Limelight got more than he bargained for here out of Oasis. Then of course Banning, and I think the walls of that bodega are, are, are crumbling. The bodega. Scott Johnson has ruled that this match is a no contest. Bodega might be going out of business the way things are going, James. Definitely a rocky foundation. They have to get it together. Because there's more and more threats. And I'll tell you, Oasis poses a big threat. And he didn't lose this match. He didn't win it, but it was ruled a no contest. And the walls are closing in for the champion, Danny Limelight. It's true. Oasis definitely made a statement here in his very first outing against the champion, Danny Limelight, who's just... He's held that title over 400 years. How much time does Limelight have left? 